guys, it's Ben from Hilltop Packs. I just want to kind of go over what is included in our front pack. It's our DSLR camera front pack. I just want to show you what's included and also how to set it up on your backpack. So it does come with, the standard uh, setup does come with the pack itself. It does have a flat bottom and it has a padded bottom. That's what the standard uh, setup comes with. Now you can also order it with a front pouch and also with a tripod strap on the side. It also comes with four straps. These are mounting straps to mount to your backpack. Um, it is a roll top, so it makes it pretty easy to use. And it does keep it extremely wa weather resistant. So I know zippers are sometimes a little more convenient, but zippers are not waterproof at all. Even the waterproof ones just aren't waterproof. So the roll top really does seal that camera in, and you could be in a torrential downpour, and you're not going to get your camera gear wet. So we're going to move on to the backpack and show you how to set this thing up. Okay, so this is uh, the front of the pack, and I'm going to show you the back of the pack. The back does have four mounting points that these straps are going to go on to. And they just clip on and clip off. And it makes it really easy to take the pack on and off of your backpack on the front. And it's really nice because the straps, you can kind of set them and forget them as far as length is concerned. And you just clip the thing on and off and it makes it pretty nice. So now we do have all of these straps actually buckled in, ready to go. And all four are attached. The top, two top buckles are angled slightly up, which is the way they should be. I just want to show you the end before we go any further. The ends have these little loops with cord locks on them. It makes it really easy to attach to pretty much any mounting point you can find on your backpack. Now, some people are worried about your backpack not being able to handle the weight. You shouldn't really be carrying a ton of weight in this thing anyway. I can't imagine carrying more than 5 or 10 pounds inside that pack. And this is more than strong enough to hold onto your pack. And your pack is designed to carry a lot of weight. So you're going to be totally fine. And I'll show you what I mean. So these cord locks, these loops come out. If you can see that right there, it's going to come right out. You're going to loop it around into your backpack loop, any of the loops you have on your backpack straps on top and on the bottom. And you're going to loop it back in, and it kind of cinches into itself like that. And you're going to cinch it down like, I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but you're going to cinch it down so it looks like that. And that'll attach it right to your backpack, and it's not going to go anywhere. It also makes it easily adjustable out in the field, too. You don't have to, like, fight these crazy straps and those small little attachments. This makes it really easy and convenient. So here I want to give you a little closer view of how this actually attaches to the backpack. So this little strap, like I said, kind of runs through. And then you just pull this thing tighter. It's going to be hard to do with one hand. But you get the idea. So this thing will cinch all the way down and effectively lock it into place. I wish I had like a third hand here. There we go. So, and that's how it holds in place. And I gotta tell you, I've been using this system for years, even with other manufacturers, before I started my own stuff. And that system works great. I've never had one tear out. Uh, the straps that we use are very strong. The cord we use is very strong. The cord locks work great. And the backpacks are always built for this kind of stuff. That's what they're made for. They're made to hang stuff off of it, so you're fine. And the same thing on the other side, same thing on the bottom strap. These little locks make it very versatile to kind of move up and down quickly out in the field, and you can mount to literally anything, okay? So there you go. Okay, so we do have the pack actually mounted to the backpack now. This front pack is now mounted to the backpack. I just want to give you a few little, a couple little tips on how to actually do this and how to make it comfortable for you. This top strap here, uh, the further up you mount it, the less comfortable it is actually going to get. I see some people actually mount them up very high. And if you're not carrying a lot of weight, not a big deal. But if you're carrying a full-size DSLR, you really want to bring this thing down to at least where the shoulder rolls off. It's going to allow more surface area uh, to carry the load of your front pack. And, of course, your backpack, too, has to um, come through the top strap here, or top uh, shoulder strap. So about where it kind of comes across the shoulder and starts to come back down, that's a good place to mount this front one here. And the bottom strap, if, you're, if you have a full um, belt on the bottom, a lot of belts have loops in them already. You can mount it anywhere in that belt system that you want. I prefer to actually mount it near the back. Um, but that doesn't really make a much much of a difference. Most of the packs that I use are simple, simply just a belt, a small strap, a one-inch strap. So I usually mount mine to the back where it actually attaches to the backpack. But it really doesn't matter. You can mount it almost anywhere. But what's nice about this is once you get everything strapped up, to unclip one side to get out of the backpack, you can just unclip one side, take this thing away, take the whole backpack off, and you're good to go. You only have to disconnect one side. You don't have to disconnect both sides. So we're going to clip it back in. I'm going to show you one more little tip. So it may seem like there's a lot of straps flapping around here, and it's because I haven't trimmed anything yet. Once you get everything sized to your pack and you actually wear it for a little bit, and you're, you definitely haven't figured out where you want to mount everything, you can go back and trim these straps pretty easily. 
So leave yourself six to eight inches of strap, uh, maybe like about at least six inches because you don't want to cut yourself too short. Although it is easy to replace these if you happen to go too short. It's just a half inch strap, I believe. And we can even supply that if you run out, if you can't find anything. But when you cut it, make sure you singe it with a, um, with a lighter just to kind of sear the end so it doesn't fray off. So make sure you just trim everything up once you get it, and that will make things a lot cleaner. And uh, again, just clip off the one side to get it out. And next, I'm going to show you how to actually put a camera inside of this thing and roll it down and, and cinch it up so it's nice and secure. Okay, so let's talk about um, how you put the camera inside the bag and how you roll it down and everything. So this is a uh, Pentax K1. It's actually one of the heaviest cameras I actually own, so it's a pretty big, bulky camera. It's got a 20 to 105 lens on it. I'm a professional photographer by trade. That's my, my day job. Um, so I have other heavier cameras, I'm sorry, heavier lenses, like on my Nikon uh, D750 or 850. Sometimes I use a 14 to 24, which is a very, very heavy lens, and it also fits in here no problem. But this would be a typical camera that I would use on a, on a backpacking trip if I'm trying to get high-quality images. And this is a great way to carry it. So we're going to snap it. We're going to put the camera right in there. I snap it up and the more that you use this the more you use the bag the easier it does get it starts to loosen up and soften up a little bit around the buckle it doesn't weaken it by any means but it does soften up a little bit so really just you know two rolls roll it all the way down to the camera why not you just kind of turn it over cinch it up and the beautiful thing about the roll top uh, makes it completely closed off to the world and i have to say weather resistant of course but i gotta tell you it makes these things near waterproof We'll say weather resistant. I've never had an ounce of water ever in any of these packs. I've hiked in torrential downpours and I've never had to worry about a thing. You know, using waterproof zippers, what, zippers are never waterproof. Even the waterproof ones just don't really hold up like they're supposed to. So, really, I really like using roll top in any application I can. So, that's the pack right there. You got the camera in there. And of course, like I said, you could also add on, when you're ordering this thing on our website, you could also add a front pouch, which is like a little net to kind of put maybe a like a microphone inside there if you, if you if you're doing some video if you're a vlogger you know put a microphone in there i can also have a um, tripod attachment on the side that'd be perfect for like a bendy tripod or like a small travel tripod on the side uh, if you need something even more custom than that you can always contact me i've even mounted the tripod mounts on the bottom although i do like it on the side so there you have it there is the front pack uh, dslr camera pack that we offer uh, any questions at all hit me up and um, try to help you out the best i can thanks for watching Thank you.